DevOps. And, um, I'll just read the question. Um, what does a typical day look like for you as a federal DevOps engineer? Yeah, typical day is kind of okay. I get to the, I get to the office at nine. We have our daily stand up call at nine thirty. So I know, yeah, of course, TS for you does the, the daily stand up call around. I don't know if you guys change it, but it's during the nighttime, that is very important. I remember during the boot camp, I hated, <laughs> I hated joining those because I was either playing basketball or doing like in the gym or doing something, and then one. 9 30 p.m came that's when we joined the the stand-up calls i think i'm like oh like i gotta join this but then it's the same thing in the job right like you always have to join that daily sync up call and what we do at ts for you is exactly what we do in the job where we say what we did yesterday um we say what we're trying to accomplish today and then if we have any roadblocks or not it's exactly the same format that i do in my job right and then if you can't join the daily sync up call same thing right we in our chat like hey i sorry i couldn't make it to the daily sync up call but you know this is what i did and then throughout the day it's just yeah working on you know the pipelines i'm mostly adding or replacing like a lot of my user stories now this last week was just it's been kind of simple but just replacing the old docker images with the new images and then just building the docker images and then once i'm kind of done with that i just we mostly just test what the software engineer's new changes. Um, whatever new changes the software engineer implemented, we just kind of run through those test cases. And then sometimes even I'm writing test scripts. So after I, you know, write the test scripts of what the so I'll meet with the software engineer, be like, hey, can you show me the new changes you made? And then we kind of work on it together. And then I end up making creating the test script. And then we like put it into a test case and then it's time to execute that test um, case. We don't use Postman, we use um, two different um, platforms for testing, but it's kind of essentially almost the same thing, right? Different companies use different uh, platforms, but essentially it's kind of the same thing, right? If you know how to test, then you know how to test, but that's kind of a daily, day-to-day -day task, right? If I'm not working on the pipelines, then I'm just mostly testing. But for the most part, it is it is pretty chill, right? It, like we did mention we have, you know, a lot of hats to wear, but it doesn't get too stressful. So it's yeah, it's not a bad rap at all. Um, so uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh no, I just have like a few like just tiny little follow-up questions, just um just to get your opinions on things. So um, I just wanted to know, like, do you feel like there is any variety in the projects um, that you work on or are things pretty much always under the same umbrella or how do you feel? Yeah, and that's my apologies. I'm not kind of going deep dive. The reason why I'm kind of going a little bit into it is because technically, of course, since it's the government side, I'm not supposed to talk <laughs> too much about that. Yeah, I'm not supposed to talk too much about it, but it's uh, in terms of variety, kind of. Kind of not because our project is very long term. Like we're working on a five year project. So oh. it's kind of, yeah. So in terms of too much, it's not like we're building anything from scratch, right? We're kind of working on a existing long project that's been going on for, you know, a couple of years. So in, for your, um, I guess, regarding your question in terms of variety, not too much, but that I guess the variety comes from testing and then doing the DevOps work back and forth. So I, I guess, in my opinion, that would be kind of my variety, right? Becoming, being a tester for half of the day and then being a DevOps guy for half the day. Okay, awesome. So if you yeah. have, I'm just sorry, just a few more statements. Um, um, so if you had to rate the level of difficulty for your role, like let's say on a scale of one to 10, what would you say? And then I'll explain why, because I feel like I have a different yeah in my role but go that's ahead a, that's a great question because on a day you don't seek help that thing is a 10 right but the days you seek help is 10 on like a scale of high difficulty right but the days you seek help and you know you're actively asking questions going back and forth like a six or seven right when you i mean it's when it's when you're first starting off it'll always be it's just because of that um 
imposter syndrome, right? You feel like, hey, am I asking a dumb question or am I asking the right question? You just don't want to feel like to show your supervisor and everything that you're completely useless, right? Which is not the case, right? Because everybody asks a lot of questions, stuff like that. But it's just mostly the imposter syndrome and that just gets better over time, right? Like imposter syndrome, everybody has it. So, you know, when you are in the job market and then you do land a job, imposter syndrome is never going to go away. Even at one point, right, the people we report to that are now managers, supervisors, directors once had it. So it just kind of, I guess, differs from day to day, but slowly the level of difficulty just um, goes down. But at first, like everybody, you will, you'll feel like it's a 10, right? But it'll gradually go down as long as you just kind of keep yourself composed and relax a little bit. I mean, if you're doing what you have to do, right, then you'll be fine. So, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Um... Oh, go ahead, Mr. Ahmed. So um, remember the why the he has been relaxed. There is multiple reason. Number one, it is a long term project. It is an existing application. It has been like the enhancing and the um, the evaluate whatever is called the improvement phase. So if if the team start giving him the pressure, he will be lost because he will not understand anything else. At the same time, if team is just only giving him just to build some Docker file and do it, also it is not worth for him because this is a long-term project. This is good. This is a complex project, but the, he doesn't understand anything at all. He has no clue what is going on. This is the reason, the best way to engage with the testing. When you start the testing, actually now you are learning in depth of the application. You, you are actually, you are going nitty gritty details, basically. And then existing uh, test script, existing test cases. So actually now you are into the application. When you're into the application, so now you are actually learning the technology behind the scene. Uh, the reasons are, uh, we just do not feel like uh, you just ask some type of very, uh, the irrelevant question and very high level question. So to avoid it, will take him, we will take him through the journey. Okay, in the engage with the testing, understand what, what type of test script is existed now and how this features is working, how this functionality works. So when he is spending a lot of time, now the questions he'll be asking to the developer, these questions will be very precise and relevant. So, and this is the reason it's very important. Now, if, if he showed his like a, not can do attitude when his manager asks him that, that will be the disaster mistake for him, right? Remember we, we, we said, yeah. regardless what has been thrown on you, don't say anything else. Sure, I'll do it. Because the person who is asking you, he knows you don't know it. But you show it because I am paying you money, right? I'm paying for your day. You don't need to worry about anything else. So he said, yes, I want to do this. And he, is, he has shown his, uh, the positive energy, and that's the reason he's learning now. So, because again, existing work, he, he has he has nothing to do from the scratch. So it is very important for all of you, regardless of your title, it's his title. Nowadays, we all work like we are a startup. A startup means uh, the boss, then the regular employee, nothing. Everybody just do things and everybody, nobody is high or nobody is low. You get yelled by the senior because you don't do your job and you will be showing the junior how to do the work. We are all in this state of phase now because the, the world is shifting and things are getting very dynamic every day. So good, at least uh, he has learned his lesson that uh, you didn't say no, uh, it will be a big issue if you, if you did it because uh, they will have no work to do for you because you cannot touch the system because you don't know the system because this platform is super big and the, each of the government has a ton of integration behind the scene on each each of the application. Yeah, that's my uh, takeaway, my assessment you can say. That's 100% true, yeah. When you test, that's the best way to uh, learn the application in the system. It's funny, a lot of my, a lot of people in my company, they're like, oh shit, I don't wanna do any testing. I hate this. I wanna code this, that. So they're like, yeah, they don't like when people say that because nobody wants to be a tester. Everybody wants to be a 
develop. But I mean, work is work, right? You gotta do what you have to do, whatever they tell you to do. Yeah, but but in fact, let's say you are a developer, right? Yeah. And I have a very large school sub platform, correct? What do you mm -hmm. do? Do you want me to put my another two developer to to babysit you all day? No, I don't have that time. Nobody nobody will do this approach. So yeah. why, why don't you learn it? And then you say, how I learn it? Well, I don't know. So now, of course, now we start execute, execute all the test cases. What are these test cases? This is all the business flow. This is all the functionality. So now you're actually making your hand dirty and you're being technical now. So this all common sense, the way we do things, it has perfect like a flow and everything makes sense. The moment we find out the attitude issues, done. So now, now you yeah. just drop yourself and now, you, now you'll be struggling because nobody will teach you anything because you already showed that you're uh, no, no attitude.